Anthony Davis wasn't playing with a scrub in Drew Holiday. <laughs> Drew Holiday can ball. Where did it get him? Semifinals of a, of a Western Conference once. playoffs once. Okay, so if you go to New York and you got to wait for KD, or you go to New York and KD's not going to come, but it's Kemba Walker that's there, suddenly if I'm Anthony Davis, how attractive is that situation for me? That's one of the reasons why Rich Paul is making it crystal clear they're going to be free agents. Even if they go to a place where they want, he's made it clear they're going to be free agents because I think they want to see how it plays out. You know, I, I also think that if you're Anthony Davis, you may, you know, the world may be completely different in 2020 as it is in 2019 because of KD. Correct. And so, and because, because of Clay, and also, I believe the Warriors will be, you know, if these guys recover, the Warriors will be right back where they were. So you may want to position yourself in a certain way. And you may not want to make that decision right now. So that's one of the reasons but, why I think they're, they're going to go to free agency no matter what. But doesn't that say that Anthony Davis definitely would prefer to be in L.A.? Because the one thing that you can't count on is that LeBron James is going to be there for at least the next two years. Uh, the events of last night only made Anthony Davis' desire to be in L.A. more because he can compete, in my mind, in the West instantaneously. Yeah. I know that they're going to give up pieces to get him. LeBron and Anthony Davis as your core players with – the, the Warriors coming down with, you know, you know, the Nuggets are a good team, but they're not necessarily there yet. Portland, good team, not necessarily there yet. LeBron and, and, and AD, plus they'll be able to draw other complimentary players in free agency. You know, they'll still have some ability to add players. They won't be, you know, maybe superstars, but that to me, like, if, you know, if Rob Polinka is doing some negotiating, holding Kyle Kuzma out or whatever, Fine, but you better try everything you possibly can to make this deal because the whole West just changed in a moment. How much did Magic Johnson, Rob Palenka situation in L.A., along with Jeannie Buss, obviously, how much do you think that that has affected the Los Angeles Lakers as free agency approaches? It's a great question. I think it's, it, it matters to each individual guy. It matters different. I think ultimately at the end of the day, what you're saying is I'm rolling with LeBron. If you are willing to come to L.A., you're saying, I'm rolling with LeBron. I think the best option would be Kyrie Irving. I think Kyrie Irving and LeBron are made to play together. I think their, their games complement each other brilliantly. I argue that the best complementary piece LeBron's ever had is Kyrie. I'm not saying he's the best player he's ever played with because Dwayne Wade is first ballot instantaneous Hall of Famer. Their games fit together perfectly. Unfortunately, their personalities and what they want do not. And that's why I don't think it's happening. Has anything changed with those two personality-wise since they've been together? They've definitely gotten closer, and there are people who know them both who say that this open. I just don't see it happening. I don't see it either. I've been told there's no way in hell Kyrie yeah. Irving is going to L.A. I don't know what to believe, but you know these people put it out there because they want to make sure that that message is disseminated, so I have an obligation to make sure I echo 